I have a bunch of makeup that I really want to try out. Some of these things are going to be repeats, but then a lot of it is going to be new. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Serafina, no, not Serafina, Serafine Botanicals Meadow Rose Strobe Luminizing Rose Gold Primer. I think I've used this on the channel before. You know, it's got the little Instagram moment. You, you, boop. I love a good Instagram moment. I really need to start working through these primers. I have so many. Oh, this smells good. And I feel like I'm just gonna continue to get more and more and more and more. And next thing you know, my entire house is full of makeup. I need to start working through some of this stuff. I already know a few of my tried and trues, you know what I'm saying? Like a few of my tried and trues are set in stone. We know we love them. They're that girl. This primer would look good by itself for those no makeup makeup days to like a very luminous, dewy kind of look. Ooh, okay. Use this with some of that, uh, with some of that. Myrix is not Danessa Myrix. That's Danessa. No, yeah, Danessa Myrix. I think that's the right name. Use that with some of that dewy wet balm. Put that on the cheeks and then you good to go with some like mascara just to add a little bit of dimension to your eyes. This is another, I guess this is a tried and true, even though I've only tried her a few times, but I love this stuff. This is the Pixie CC Color Corrector. This stuff is literally amazing. Okay, bye-bye under eye. Cool thing about it is you can use it to color correct other areas. Just go right right on in there. I really like this stuff. It looks so good under my foundation. Lately, my complexion has been looking so freaking good. And I think it's because of this product. Color correcting, it just kind of smooths everything out, helps to hide some of my hyperpigmentation, even though we don't run from the hyperpigmentations, okay? We know that our skin is going to be pigmented. We're human and we're doing our skincare, but it takes time, okay? It's not an overnight, such as we gone overnight. You gotta take our time. The Next new new is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the deodorant stick. Okay, I know you guys have seen this around. I think this is in the color 10. It is a perfect match for my skin tone. Like, I love this like whole entire style. I just wish it was bigger. Wait, let's see how much product you get. I didn't even do this last time. Okay, so this is how much product you get. It should last for a long time. We'll see, we'll judge it by how long it takes to get through that little divot. You see that part where it kind of like goes in a little bit? Let's see how long it takes us to get down there. Then we'll be able to judge whether or not this is enough product or if they're scamming us. I just want you guys to clock this match. Bruh. I don't know how much of this you're supposed to put on. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I wonder if this goes on better with a brush versus a sponge. I might have to try that one day. Like do half my face with the blunt blunge. Do half my face with the sponge and then half my face with the brush. This does not give as much coverage as that CC cream that I had, or is it a BB cream? I think it was BB cream. <laughs> this doesn't give as much coverage as that BB cream, but I think that's the whole point. It's supposed to just be your skin, but better. Let's see if we can build this. Okay, let's let's try that. Because if it's buildable, then she definitely that girl. I'm gonna just put another layer on both sides. Let's see. Well, this side is the real tell. If it's buildable. Um It's a little buildable, but not really. This stuff shears out so much. So this is definitely for that no makeup makeup look. If you're a full coverage girl, don't even try it. Save your coin if you're a full coverage girl. But if you're looking for that Alicia Keys, does she have makeup on look? Then this might be it for you. I don't know. I gotta see how it like sets. It looks okay. It looks okay. It's very dewy, but it's a balm. So duh, of course it's gonna be dewy. And y'all know I'm a matte finish girl. I love a good matte finish, but there's always room for a good dewy moment, especially like in the winter time, especially in the winter time when your skin is just dry to freak out. It's always nice to have hydrating makeup when your skin is gonna be just 
super freaking dry because of the weather. Something that I could have done to hide that dark spot even more was put down some concealer, let it dry down, blend it out, and then put my foundation over it. I might try that hack next time just to just to show you guys. Um, but that's like a really good way. I didn't come up with that. So don't quote me as the one coming up with that. Learn that from Jackie Ina, and I think she learned that from somebody else. Do not quote me as that being my tip to you. That's something that's been tried and true and passed down for generations, okay? If I really wanted to hide that dark spot, all I really have to do is just put some concealer down, let it dry, blend it out, and then put the rest of the foundation over it and it'll be gone, be like it was never there. Right now, I feel like I have makeup on my face, which is weird. You know, well, obviously I have makeup on my face, but usually when I put on foundation, it doesn't really feel like I have anything on my skin. Now, that might be the primer's fault. We test different foundations with different primers to see what really works. Cause sometimes you might think it's the foundation, really it was the primer. Or you might think it's the primer, and really it's the foundation. So it's really important to try to test out these different foundations with different primers to see who is really the problem. So next time I do my makeup, I'll probably use the Grown, yeah, it's Grown Alchemist. I'll probably use the Grown Alchemist one because that's my favorite primer and see if it still gives me that like kind of thick feeling that I have right now. It might be this or hell, it might be both of these. Okay, it might be both. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna just blend this out. Y'all, I have another order from She Glam coming in the mail, but it's been like stuck in Chicago for like almost a week now. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? My stuff was supposed to arrive yesterday. Actually, no, it was supposed to arrive the day before yesterday. And so I was contacting them to see like, when is my stuff going to arrive? because I want to film that video. And there's a lot of things in there that I'm super excited to try. Be on the lookout for that video. It's going to be, it's going to be here soon. One of the days. I got a bunch of stuff in there. It's not a full face, but I will do a full face of She Glam using that makeup because I have everything for the routine. You feel me? I have everything for a routine using She Glam products. So we're going to do full face. I was about to say, what is wrong with my nose? Y'all know I'm blind. So when I looked in the screen, I was like, why does my nose look weird? It's because I haven't blended it yet. Boy. Like I said, I still feel like I have makeup all over my face. Uh, it seems a little streaky. Like, what the hell is that? This might be my least favorite foundation. Okay, ABH, count your days. <laughs> Next is the Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a bronzer in, I don't think it says, two medium. We're going to just swirl around here. Again, I don't think this is the right brush for this. I think I'm supposed to use like a denser brush, but I mean, it seems to be working just fine with this fluffy, fluffy, fluffy brush. Yeah, I look like I've been playing in the sun, okay? I look like I've been having some fun in the sun. This is a very, very dewy, 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 dewy look. The next product is actually another new new, and this is the Pixie on the Glow Blush Tinted Moisture Stick in the color Juicy, okay, Juicy. Very, very pretty. I want to do a full face using deodorant sticks. <laughs> I think that would be so much fun. With this one, you just kind of draw it on like that and you can build it up. Y'all know your girl is borderline jigsaw. So this is how much I need. Plus it's going to sheer out, especially once you put powder over it. Like, isn't that pretty? I look so glowy and luminous right now. If I clear my skin up, bruh, I'm gonna be all in these like your skin but better looks. Well, let's be so cereal right now. For my powder, I'm going to use my Lunar Beauty. Love this stuff. And let's see how all of this looks underneath some powder. I'm gonna try to go a little light with the powder. Yeah, this looks so good. Even with like the little dust of powder, you can still see the blush. I mean, the bronzer is still kind of there. It's more of a bronze from within. I mean, you can't really bronze from within, but you, you hear what I'm saying. Dust in the act. Before. I really need to clear my skin up because then I'll be able to truly appreciate these your skin but better looks. All I can really see is my hyperpigmentation underneath the makeups. So for my brow pencil, I'm just using my, my Dollar Tree brow pencil because, I mean, let's be serious. This thing works just as good as 
the other brow pencils. I wish my eyebrows were thick enough to do like the whole soap brow look. I think that look is so beautiful, especially for those no makeup makeup looks. It just, it just doesn't work for me. I don't have enough hair. I'm not going to um, put relaxer on my eyebrows. Like that's just, it's a no for me. I won't even put relaxer in my, in my hair hair, let alone the hair that's right on my face by my eyes. Absolutely not. I like this. I would go out just like this, but maybe just like a really nice eyeline, like a nice, sharp eyeliner and then like lip gloss. I mean, I already have juicy looking lips right now because of the um, the lip oil, but yeah, or some mascara and then call it a day. We got makeup to play in. So we're gonna play in this makeup. The next thing that I'm gonna dip into is this Like a Boss palette that we got in our ice cream beauty bag. This is the color story, okay? Kind of muted, nothing too crazy. We're, we're gonna play with this palette, but I mean, there's not really anything super, super exciting about it. I'm just keeping a buck with y'all. For my transition shade, I'm going to go into this color right here. Ooh, a lot of kickback, but she's formulated, okay? That pigment is going to come right up on there. If you worried if the color going to show up, it's going to show up on time and a little bit early. I'm going to dip into RR, very deep plummy brown kind of shade. And first, I'm just going to outline that out and then I'm going to brush it in, outline it, and then brush it in. Okay, that is a little bit patchy. Yeah, this is a little bit patchy, I'm not gonna lie. We're just gonna use our fluffy brush to kind of diffuse that out and hopefully get rid of some of this patchiness. Just blend, 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 blend. As best, as best, as best as we can. I think that's as good as I'm gonna be able to get it. We are going for a more dramatic look, so I'm gonna go back into RR and sweep that underneath. the drama, and we love the drama on our face, not in our lives. Using this little flat brush, I'm gonna dip into on top. This color looks so freaking pretty. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And it's going on very nicely. Now you know your shimmers are doing the damn thing when they go on with a brush. That's the real tell, because some of these shimmers out here, you gotta get your fingers all dirty, but with the really good shimmers. You just use a brush. All right, that is super gorge. Now I'm just gonna dip back into RR just a little bit and try to blend that into the shimmer. I am gonna add an inner corner highlight cause you know I'm that girl. And I'm gonna go into LV, pretty shade right here. It's like really pretty rust. Just use it as like a little pop. So this is the eye look. It is very patchy. This is like really freaking patchy. I don't know why. Let me see, try to fix that. This could just be a me problem. Don't write off the eyeshadow palette because it's patchy with me because I am not a makeup artist, okay? I'm not a makeup artist. Yeah, that is really freaking patchy. It's not formulated the best. You get the pigments, right? Like the pigments are there, but it's like wherever you place it, that's where it's gonna stick. It's not gonna, you know, blend very, very well. I mean, it is what it is. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. If you want a palette that is literally like the same size, but it's formulated all the way through and through, Ace Beauté is that girl, okay? Ace Beauté is, is gonna get you right every single time. It's pigmented and it blends like a freaking dream. Next, I'm going to tight line with my Wet n Wild. Just color right into I guess this is the tight line. I still haven't looked it up to see if that's the right term. I'm just gonna hope that it is. Stuff always makes me wanna cry. Well, it's not the brand in itself that makes me wanna cry. Coloring underneath my eye like that always makes me wanna cry. Today, we're gonna go for a dewier setting spray because the look is doo-doo. And <laughs> doo-doo. Oh, God. The look is dewy. And we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hill Dewy Set. I love this little clicking mechanism. 
This stuff smells so good. I actually really like how it smells. All right, we are set. Before spraying, I was supposed to do my eyeliner. I didn't do that. This is my tried and true Stilla. Honestly, this thing is old, so I probably shouldn't be using it. It says six months. This has been open for more than six months, at least 12. I'm a user anyways. Baby girl just yanked her headphones off. I can never make my eyes look the same. Like, bruh, this side always looks so bad compared to this side. Like, this side is always popping. I don't know what it is. I skipped so many steps. I forgot to put on highlighter, even though I'm already pretty, like, glowy as is. I probably don't even need a highlighter, but I'm gonna go in for a highlighter because I wanted to try this out. And this is the icon. I'm so dirty. This is the, I it's still dirty. This is the iconic London, that little dual highlighter that we got. This is a warmer look, so I'm gonna opt for this one right here. I mean, you can't really tell the difference. Maybe you can, and I'm just blind. Oh yeah, you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It's just, you gotta get it from the right angle. Next, I'm gonna use the Give Them La La Beauty Mascara. I love this packaging. It's so simple, but just cute. I don't know, it's just cute. This is a pretty good mascara. The wand is a little flimsy though. It just, it just doesn't feel super sturdy. I mean, I think that's the point of it, but I just don't particularly like that. I like a good sturdy wand. She's definitely a good mascara. I wanna try some other things from this brand. I think this is more like an indie brand. Very nice. Okay, this is a good product. I think what's next is lips. I think that's actually the last thing is lips. I did everything completely out of order. We're gonna go in with the Project Lip. This is just like a plump and lip filler liner situation. I used this once in the Chic Beauty try-on. It makes your lips tingle, which is so weird. So we're gonna see if this actually plumps my lips. And granted, I'm black girl, so I don't know if my lips can get any more plump. I do want to try that lip injection because they say it hurts. They say it hurts, and I'm very <laughs> curious how much it hurts. Like, are y'all being a bunch of candies, or does it actually hurt? Let's see. Let's see if my lips look plumper after using this Project Lip. I feel it tingling. I think it usually takes like a minute or so before it really kicks in. I think my lips are gonna look the same. Next, I'm gonna go in with a lip gloss, and this is Shades by Shan in the color Yeah Yeah. It smells funny, like it doesn't smell right. I think it's a good lip combo. It's just like, it's stinging, but I don't know if it's actually making my lips plumper. I don't know, I can't tell. I'm gonna have to do like a before and after to really see if this lip plumper does the job. But I do wanna try the lip injection by, two, I think it's Too Faced? I have it in my cart on flip. So my next flip order, it's gonna be in there and we're gonna try it out and see if it makes black girl lips look even more. Hopefully it doesn't make me look like I got duck lips. It'll just be an experience. I wanna buy it just to try it out for the experience. So yeah, y'all, this is the final look. It's very glowy, very dewy, but the eyeshadow is patchy as hell. The shimmer is beautiful though. I probably would just reach in here for the shimmer and then use a matte eyeshadow from other palettes. This foundation, I feel like it's on my skin. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I feel it there and it's a little uncomfortable. Like I said, it might be the foundation or it might be the primer. I know I've used that primer before, but I don't remember it feeling like this. But yeah, this is the final look. I am in love with this blush. I think this is so cute. I might get more in different colors and just have like a whole array of deodorant blush. They have a bronzer as well, which I think I have in my cart. I think I have it in my cart on my flip. I will be getting that as well. We're gonna do a whole face full of deodorants. 
I mean, I'm not obsessed with this look. It's just, it's meh to me. I, I'm not really in love with this. I wouldn't ask Justin to take me out looking like this. I mean, it's not like I look bad, but it just, it's meh. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Yeah, my lips still look the same. <laughs> my lips literally just hurt. They don't look any different. Thank you.